All right, the heat. It, we've mm. had a lot of heat waves this I summer. I heard. I, yes. was, uh, I was not here, but I heard. <laughs> and, and, you know, even the animals are feeling the heat. Mm -hmm. but, well, they're wearing fur. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> but there is a certain technique that originated in squirrels mm. that maybe you should think about, Carson. We can always learn from the squirrels. You know, Bianca's here. She's an animal lover. Mm -hmm. She's trained her Same. cat to do pee-pee pee and poo-poo on the, the toilet. On the toilet. Yeah. We're working on your uh, horse next. <laughs> yes. Your horse, Earl. I'm going to tell Earl to get yeah. ready for some Does, intense training. I'm going to have to find a very large kit, though. It's We can do it. You have. You might have some room for a large toilet as well. I think so. Okay, but let's talk about splooting. Have you heard of this term? No, I no. don't even know what that it sounds means. very naughty. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> like you have um, Montezuma's Revenge. <laughs> yeah, like when squirrels have extreme gas, splooting. <laughs> okay. I was on the train today, and a squirrel sat next to me, and he wouldn't stop splooting. Oh, oh my God. I just God. used it in a sentence. <laughs> Guys, yeah. I could have let them go on for hours to <laughs> get to this story. So Mike says the temps are going to get into the 90s today, so normally that means people can head to the beach, dip in a pool, or hide in the AC, but for our wildlife, obviously they don't have those options, so now we're talking about squirrels specifically here. They do this thing to cool down. It is called splooting, but if you ask anyone on the streets what this is, or Carson Kresley, right. they're going to look at you like you're crazy. Do you know what the term splooting means? What is it? Have you heard of the term splooting? No, never. Ne ne Can you spell it for me? So splooting is a colloquial term used to identify that position that squirrels and other mammals, including humans, will do when they're stretching out flat on uh, the, the ground. The NYC Parks Department took to Twitter to post a squirrel mid sploot and it caused quite the funny stir on social media. The term is yeah, still trying to be understood. I want to say it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like like a, a, another form of like spooning, like cuddling. With recent heat waves in the city, many took pics of the squirrels in this funny position and posted to social media. This is a, a very common adaptation in the heat for the squirrels, so we just let them be, watch them from afar, definitely take pictures, take videos. Do you have something to say about that, about the heat? They're saying more nuts, please, more nuts. Or avocados if you're a celebrity squirrel on Instagram. <laughs> Meet Jumbelina. She's one of almost 30 squirrels that have been raised by wildlife rehabilitators Christina and Michael over the years right outside of the city. She loves to play. Uh, what else? She's always like on a quest to her favorite thing in the entire world is avocados. Her medical issues have kept her from going back out into the wild and recently she was driven all the way down to Florida to receive surgery. She has polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis which are things that human females can get um, that are really usually um, misunderstood. Her life inside <laughs> pretty posh she hates going outside she's terrified of yeah. being outside which mm. is another sign that she couldn't be released and if we take her outside even for 20 minutes she won't speak to us for like a day her over 250,000 fans on instagram love her too and we get messages all the time people are going through stuff whether it's cancer yeah. you know loss of a family member or a pet and they just you know, they love watching her videos. <laughs> this is what happened. Squirrels, considered rodents in the same family as rats, but with a bushy tail. Are they cuter than rats? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know why. I guess it's a butt that makes it makes them uh, so cute, I guess. So next time you're out on a hot day, take advice from a squirrel and try splooting for yourself. <laughs> I start following like Thumbelina on Instagram. <laughs> I know it's it's um, you can follow her at uh, Little Thumbelina Girl. Also, you have to we have to just say that you know it's never out of the option to release her back into the wild. But this girl got a lot of issues. Uh. Thumbelina's got a lot of medical problems: a hysterectomy, endometriosis, like too uh, much splooting. She, she had like a, a, to a tooth pulled out. Yeah, maybe it was too much splooting. Who knows? I told her to chill out. I like that it's Little Thumbelina Girl. Have you seen I, have you seen her in a Britney Spears costume or know. Kim Kardashian costume? I don't no. like squirrels. You gotta watch the Instagram. I don't like squirrels. Tell me, tell me how you really feel. But because when I was a kid, a squirrel uh -huh. got into my parents' bedroom. No. And <laughs> My dad had already left for work, and my mom was there, and she said, Rosanna, can you come in there? I was like 10, <laughs> right. 11 years old. I need help She's with the like, squirrel. She's like, get the squirrel. And then she runs out Rosanna. and closes the door. The Rosanna, the vermin, uh, you know, right. exterminator. This might be why you're having those dreams. <laughs> <laughs>
Anyways, I, I got heard a lot we have of to like yeah. carry the show on because we're running out of time. So you can take it away. Uh, anyway, okay, <laughs> splooting squirrels who yeah. may be spooning like, squirrels as like well. Like that. Right. I got you. Right. I got you. Right. It's so educational, go. this program. It is. Hey, listen, you know where we're going next? I uh, know. Where? The island of Jamaica. Come on. We're celebrating 60 years of independence. Mm. We're chatting with the U.S. Regional Director of Tourism about how they're welcoming you with open arms. If I could be your girl.